Alright, welcome back to Advanced Tactics Gold. We got Kiev on the run. Nippon, who is scarily big. I hold three capital cities. And the history model designer. I have got a, a metric ton of political points, so that's it. Better flak. Tank destroyer two. Got fifty left. Eighty two and two. Yeah, there we go. We are slightly overproducing now. It's fine. We can deal with that. This one just blew up 11 tank destroyers. Being pretty brutal out there. Basically turned into a war against me and Nippon. Oh, it's like how they still wear to bomb Germania occasionally. Just, just to keep things interesting for them. I'm going to look at what kind of stockpiles of flak I've got. It might be time to start building a few flak units and just dotting them around as well. Black one there. What I'm going to do to him is transfer every horse I've got to that guy. He might be able to move next turn, you never know. Hey, we've actually reached 100 percent staff with a HQ at last. Yeah, tank destroyers are flowing out. Got 26 flak. That'd be why that airing isn't filling up. Um yeah, right, model designer. Add unit, change name, black battery, set quantity to five, set type to flak. Ten snap points is fine, but they at least give us something new formation. The HQ of this. New formation HQ of him. New formation HQ of him. New formation using him as a HQ. New formation using him as a HQ. That's probably more flax batteries than I've got guns going out, but should help cover a few areas.
where heavy artillery filled up. Can't see it. Just gonna hit this with a wall. I'm hoping the tanks will be able to get in there. Yep, we took it. That is key because that basically means that they can't get any more supplies into this region. Unless they built a port up there, which I doubt. you get out my land. Alright, the survivors are not going to last long against the next two guys coming in. Yep, mass surrender. I oh, should have bombarded them first, I thought I had. Oops. Yeah, sorry about that lads. My bad. General of the year. Uh, a bit closer. Don't know why you're stocking up and not sending out. It's very strange. Right, I'm actually going to maintain my oil stock pal. I want to give them a turn to a uh, starve. Hopefully, my like, oh yeah, that's a lot of tank destroyers they're blowing up. I don't think the interesting landing troops probably all engaged in the north of Nottingham. But they have got a lot of oil, so they'll, they'll be fine. Kiev may have some major stockpiles, but you just don't know. Oh no, they've retaken that raw material on that gun factory. Whatever will I do? Alright, it's building up nicely. Nice. 
No, let's soften these guys up first. I want them gone. Oh, we got you. Make your life worse. Alright, I do not have the armour up here to deal with them. Move you to here. What can you build here? That's going to be too close to this gun factory. Finding someone to put a port up here is going to be interesting. formations. Nope, no one wants to attack apart from the tanks. That's fine. So you took the gun factory, but it didn't do you much good, did it? Yeah, we're so sort of short on some of the key bits of war, aren't we? No, oh, taking that tank out early made a massive difference. They're kind of collapsing now. It's amazing what one turn of our supply will do. What we have now is just basically a messy old situation. Troops attacking from every direction. Alright. It's looking good though. We'll be able to kick... Uh... Oh, you can't move. It's too heavy. What you need to do is send some of those troops out. Imagine this is quite good for a lot of these frontline troops, experience is creeping up, morale's in the 50s, and, but yeah. One more turn, should we see Kiev all but eliminated now. All I can think is they actually did run out of fuel, like I did, and being more, not having the infantry to fall back on them, just hurt them. And I'll be able to do a nice little reorganisation of my force, that'd be amazing. I need to find somewhere for that shipyard because I need to be able to get. The other thing I can try is building the transports here and sending them to a, a HQ in Stupino. Stupino was the key, that was their um, port, that's the only. My supplies can get in from the Supreme HQ in Kiev. But taking that was basically the point where they lost it. 
bulk of the supplies except what they can be able to generate locally. Alright, we're now producing too much. We have too many factories producing too much stuff. That's my medium, only medium tank production facility. That's producing all my tank destroyers. Flak is a novelty. Alright, there we go. We do have plenty of oil. You can see we can do that with just infantry. Yeah, they they should be on the edge of surrendering. Because their forces are definitely concentrated down here now. They're not good at reducing tanks, but it's better than nothing. attack them this turn, that's fine though. I'm going to start moving this towards what's going to become the Germanic front. You're really lost as a green unit aren't you? I need to do a set of production of Kharkov now, it's repaired. Goes off, sorry. We'll have to go this way. Anywhere I'm going to find anywhere. Alright. How much can I call this one to a close? I'll see you next time. And hopefully, that'll be the end of Kiev. I can do a bit of reorganisation. Figure out somewhere I can build some transports. I will actually try that little trick of going. Hey, you. Instead of riflemen. Bring me cargo ships. And your HQ will be a new one created all the way up here. HQ and leader under Supreme Command. So I'm going to rename. Invasion HQ. And your production is going to go to Invasion HQ. So hopefully, Invasion HQ will start building up transports, and we can start thinking about taking out Povnets, and then landing in Kiev, and just generally.
in trouble. So, yeah, I'll see you then.